Uh oh. I think some chops are about to be busted. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP27 Ironhide. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's your typical Masterpiece packaging, robot mode, vehicle mode on the top, Transformers Masterpiece. On this side of the box, we have Ironhide about to shoot magic out of his fingers. And on the other side, you have the alt mode again. And on the bottom, you have a bunch of stuff I can't read. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. He does this, that, the other. He can fit in MP10's trailer. Hooray! For people who care about that and stuff and things, things and stuff. And that's it for the packaging. I'm not going to throw it. I'm not going to throw it. <laughs> I don't want people to freak out. Oh, no, he threw a masterpiece box. The world is coming to an end. Oh! And included in the box, you do get the uh, Masterpiece trading card right there with some nice artwork of Iron Knight. And on the back, alt mode, robot mode, tech specs, a bio that I can't read. Hooray! I am going to throw that because, you know, I don't care about cards. <laughs> oh no, you threw a Masterpiece card! Oh! Anyway, moving right along. Here we have Masterpiece Ironhide, and he is a nice red van, as he should be. Um, but very cool. I really like this figure. Very nicely done. Getting close here so you can see the details. Nice Autobot symbol right there up front. Nice chrome bumper. You get chromed headlights. The chrome on my bumper, unfortunately, you can see on this side, has some little... Some little chips in it, which is unfortunate, but eh, whatever. He does have the transclearance uh, blue windshields going all the way around here. He does have the uh, <laughs> have a little Easter egg here, the little face that the G1 toy has. Let's see if, if you can see that in there. If I turn it sideways, I don't know, I don't know if you can really see it, but there's a sticker. There's a sticker in there. You can kind of see it there of a face, which is supposed to be the robot mode face, and they actually did mold that into that piece of plastic behind the windshield. So, hey, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And he's got the uh, windshield wipers right there. Got the yellow stripe going down the side. Got some silver right here for the handles. Some gunmetal gray right up top, which looks really nice. Right there. Silver rims. Got the taillights right there. Got some silver. Silver bumper on the back. Underneath, you can't really see too much. You can just see his thighs right there, but everything else is pretty much uh, hidden right there. And he can roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for that. So for comparison, here he is with MP10. So you can see how he scales there with Bossman Prime. So there you have that. There he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. So you can see how he scales there with the Swipester. There you have that. And pretty much, you know, pretty much the same length. Right there. And here he is with the Voodoo Robots. Um, I forgot his name. Salus, I believe it is. They're not Masterpiece Ratchet. And you can see they're actually basically the same size. Um... You hold them up, they're they're basically the same length. Um, I think Salus is like a little bit taller, but like they actually are pretty well proportioned. Um, even like width wise, they're almost identical, so they actually do match pretty well. So you know, good on Voodoo uh, Voodoo Robots. They actually, pretty much nailed the scale there. And, of course, here he is with G1 Ironhide because it's pressure. His butt is made of iron because it's pressure. There you have that. And there you go. Now, he does come with some accessories you can use in alt mode. He does have uh, two of his guns right here, which are done in silver. Look very, very nice. And you can plug this right on top of the roof. There's a little... Uh, springy panel in there and you can just take one of the guns and plug it up top if you want. I'm gonna have a gun up there. 
but they do store in the alt mode. There are two grooves right here on either side. You can just take them and push them in. They snap into place. And you can store his guns underneath the van. So there you go. Hooray! And he does also include this weapon right here, which is the uh, static laser gun, which uh, the G1 toy came with this. And I think it's a stupid looking thing. I never liked it and I still don't like it. But if you want, you can plug this up top as well. Have that sticking up there. Sure. Uh, <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing you can do. This doesn't store in all mode. The only thing that stores in all mode is just these two guns, but you can plug this up top if you want. So there you have that. He has a bunch of other accessories, but we'll get to those when we get to robot mode. But there you go. There you have it. Masterpiece Iron Hide. Yay! So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's so first thing you want to do is you want to remove these guns. You're gonna have to move the wheels out of the way to get the guns out because they actually do clip in quite securely. Get out. Get out! Get out! Get out of my life. So, there we go. So, to get started, what you want to do is you want to take this whole rear section of the van and you want to pull it up like that. Bring it up on this hinge right here like that. And then bring this section down on this hinge like that. Once you've done that, you want to take these side panels here. You want to bring them up. You see they just tab in to the side right there. And then you want to swing this up like that. And then this assembly right here, you want to swing up and around and this will just tab in right there and lock in place. And then you can bring this whole assembly the rest of the way up like that. Second verse, same as the first. It already untabbed itself on its own, but bring that up, swing that out, swing that around, tab it in, bring it up. And they have that. Right there. Next step, you want to take this section right here. You can see his head <laughs> right there. And you want to pull it out. This part always kind of bugs me a little bit because it's kind of hard to do. But you can see there's a, it's on a, on a triple hinge, basically. So you want to take this whole assembly and you want to now swing it down. And it will go over these two side windows here. So just bring that down. Kind of hold everything steady. And then just collapse all this back up into the body. Like, oh, there we go. This is one part just a little bit finicky. There we go. We just push that in so it's flush like that. That's the way you want it. And then these clips will come down and just clip right in here to lock the shoulders in place. Just like that. And there we go. And now it just looks, he's, he's like a van, he's like a centaur van kind of thing going on here. I don't, not, anyway. <laughs> so now we will move on to the legs. So you just want to split the legs right here. And what you're going to do here is you're going to just extend the leg down. That extends a little bit. And then you're going to bring this wheel out on this bottom hinge right here. So bring it out on this hinge and then fold the wheel in at this hinge right there and then finish folding it in the rest of the way. There you have that. Now you're going to take the side panel here. The side panel will swing around like that and cover up that gap. And this side panel here will come down and fill in that gap right there. And then you just take the bumper and flip it out to make the heel. Take the foot and rotate around. There you have that, and then you just rotate the leg at the swivel right there, and there you have a leg all done. Second verse, same as the first, pull that down, bring that wheel out, bring it in, flip it in, flip this panel around, bring this panel down, flip out the heel spur, swing his foot around, rotates. And they got the legs all done, his blocky blocky legs. So once you've done that, you're going to come to these sections here with the wheels. You're just going to swing them out because they tab in behind this section right there. And then you're going to pull that out like that. So just swing that out, pull it out. And then you're going to take this panel and rotate it up like that. So rotate that up. And now at this point, you can bring the legs down. 
And at this point, I can raise the camera up <laughs> because he's getting a little down here. He's growing. He's a growing boy. So at this point now, you want to take these panels and slide them back in. And these tabs right here will go into the slots right there. So just fold those wheels in. And tab that in all nice and secure like. And there you go. And once you've done that, you're going to take this whole front section right here and pull that out right there. You want to take this little section right here and flip that down like that. And then bring this up and you just have these two tabs right there that will go into these grooves right there. And lock the chest in place. There you have that. So now, last but not least, we'll move on to the arms. The arms, you want to bring it up and bring it down on that hinge like that. Then you want to open this panel up, extend the arm down like that, flip out the hand. You want to bring this panel up and close this up and that tab will tab in right in there. And there you have an arm all done. Second verse, same as the first. Bring it up, rotate it down, open that up, extend, Flip out the hand, bring that panel in, close it all up, and I uh, think we're done. No, we're done. Yes, we're done. Woo! We're done. And there we have Masterpiece Ironhide in his robot mode. And I think he looks really freaking cool. I really like this figure. Really, really do. I, I really, really like it. Um... The only real complaint I have about this figure is, just, and a lot of people had this complaint, and, uh, oops, collapsed his legs by accident there. The only complaint I have about this figure is the one that a lot of people had is just these side panels here. I wish these panels weren't there. I wish there was some way they could have ended up maybe on his butt or somewhere back, you know. I, I don't care for these side panels. They kind of, eh, I don't know. That, that, that kind of, it doesn't make him look as clean, you know, and, and it, it's not accurate. <laughs> but uh, I can live with it, I can deal, but I, I wish they weren't there. But other than that, this figure is really, really cool. I really do like him. So we're getting close here on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Nice and iron Heidi. Got that little scowl going on there. I don't know. What are we going to do about this? That's <laughs> a very nice set skull. Very cool. I love the gunmetal gray on his shoulders. This looks really, really nice. Very cool. And um, all around, yeah, very nice. He's got his diamond crotch. Sure. <laughs> nice silver paint. Nice blocky legs. It's all around. Very nicely done. I really, really dig it. Very, very cool. So articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. You can get some good wiggly waggly moving. Oh, come on, Prime! What are we going to do about this Prime? Oh, Prime! And he can look up. He can look. Eh, well, he does have this extra hinge here. For some reason. You can get him looking down using that if you want. You can't lock it in place there. And of course, you do get rotation. The arms. Um, the way the shoulders are designed, though, is kind of weird, because if you see here, you have this panel here that extends further than this one, so when you're rotating the arm around, you can see it gets to a point where that just blocks any further movement, and it just kind of... So, so you can't actually have him with his arm, like, straight up. It, I guess maybe if you rotate it this way, you can do that, but it's just kind of weird how that works. But... You know, and it also, you know, impedes the backward movements. But, um, of course, you have that nice uh, clickety-clackety ratchet right here. This will sometimes come untied. It's, it's not the most secure connection, but, you know, it, it holds for the most part. Uh, you do have a bicep swivel, which is kind of tight on mine. You get a bicep swivel, 90 degrees of elbow bend, a wrist swivel. The hands can open and close. You do have a waist joint. Um, these little hip panels right here will move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward, they can move back that far. Outward movement is hindered by these panels, so it can only move that far out. You do get rotation above the knee, 
nice ratcheted knee joint under 90 degrees of knee bend there and the feet you can see the way they're sculpted here so they can pivot up they can pivot down and you do get some nice ankle tilt there so all in all he is pretty pretty poseable so there you have that now he does include a bunch of accessories he does come with this little rocket launcher thing here <laughs> what do they call this in the uh in the instructions a missile launcher yeah it's a missile launcher and you can see it's all decked out in chrome right here this missile can uh can be removed it doesn't fire it's not spring loaded or anything it just it just sits in there but he does have this and you can take it and plug it onto this port right here on his back and just have that hanging out over his head like that if you wish so you have that right there and what else does he have he does have his jetpack which again done with some nice silver paints very simple very basic not a whole lot of detail there and this also just pegs in to his back like that and you also get some effects parts for it get some fire some fire you can plug those in like that and he can get his whoosh on he can just whoosh whoosh Bram! And you, can, you can do all that so you got that he does have this is this is the one part of this whole package that i find really weird he does come with these hands right here he comes with three different things that are classified as liquid shooters so the first set of liquid shooters are his hands which just have little you know little, little barrels in the fingertips here so he comes with those liquid shooters and then he comes with these liquid shooters which are just you know little rectangular pieces right there that's another set of liquid shooters but you also get a set of rounded liquid shooters i i you know I, i'm all for options but that to me is like why do i have three different things that are classified as the same thing it doesn't really make sense to me but hey why not dare i say why not but to install those you just fold his hand back in close that back up and then you have these tabs right there so you can take the hand liquid shooters and they just plug on right there so he can shoot the liquid out of his fingertips if you want that effect or you can have the rectangular liquid shooters plug those in so you can have that going on or if you don't like those liquid shooters you can have the rounded liquid shooters plug those in there you go options yay <laughs> so there you have that you flip his hand back out here there you go now he does also come with this little dilly dally right here, the utility sensor, right there, which is just like a little satellite dish. It has some nice detail on it, right there. And you can take this and plug this into the port on his form. He has one on either form, so you can just take that, plug that right in there. And he also comes with a little, uh, a little companion piece for this. Oops, turn your elbow right there. There we go. You do get a little companion piece for that. You get this little uh, this little piece of cardboard. It's a very thin little piece of cardboard, but it has like a little readout on it, and it is pretty much the same readout as you can see here on the uh, on the instructions, right there. And uh, what you do with this is you just take a chest, fold that down, and this just will slot right in. There's a little. I don't know if you can see it. I doubt you'll be able to see it, but you can see a little, there's a little groove right there, right, right there, where you just take this and just kind of slide it down like that. And you just slide that down into his chest. And this little tab, I believe it's supposed to go into that little, this little slot right here in his chest. So you just kind of fold that in and just kind of close the chest back up like that. And there you go. Now he's got the little readout on his chest while he's scanning for stuff so <laughs> that's cute 
That's cute. I, I can dig it. <laughs> so, there you have that. So, let's pull this out. Yeah. There you go. So, there you have that. And you do also get an alternate face. So, he does, he just has the, uh, you know, kind of, uh, oops, close that back up. He does have the regular, just kind of stern, oh, no, prom face. But you can remove this, and it installs very easily. It's just a peg right there. So you just pull out that face, and he comes with an angry face. He's angry-eyed right there. He's like, no, oh, prom! You know, you can get all, you know, get all, get, get, get his anger on, get his rage on. There you go. Now he's angry-eyed right there. <laughs> So, that's cool. So you can swap that out. I just prefer his regular, just, you know, stern face. No! Bam! Yeah. <laughs> that's the only line of dialogue my Iron Knight says. No! Bam! There you go. Now, you do get the one last accessory here, which is the, uh, which is the, the, the sled, which is basically the nudge, nudge, wink, wink to the G1 toy, whereas, you know, the majority of the alt mode just turned into this big sled that you could stand on as a little battle platform. Um, this is not transformed, this is just one solid piece of plastic. One thing I am happy about, originally I thought the sled was part of the alt mode that you took out, and, um, I'm really, really happy that I was wrong about that, and it is a totally separate piece, and... I mean, I'm still not crazy about it, because at the end of the day, this is going to just sit in the box in the closet. I'm not going to do anything with this, but hey, I'm happy it's not actually just a chunk of the alt mode that's going to be sitting in the closet. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... And you can actually store all of the accessories on the sled here. The extra face can plug into the bottom right here, so it can just be an angry slab of red plastic. No, 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 bam! You know, you can do that. And you can take the uh, missile launcher, and that can plug in right there. You can take the liquid shooters, all three versions of them, and their tabs right here. You can tab on these liquid shooters, and then you can tab in these liquid shooters right here. And then you can tab in these liquid shooters. Why are there so many? shooters why why i don't get it <laughs> you have those liquid shooters we can take the utility sensor that plugs in right there you can take the jetpack and that will plug in right there you can take the effects parts and have it right there like you're at a rock show and there's pyro coming out of the stage sure why not you can take this gun right here and there's a slot right up front you can take that, the static laser gun, plug that right in there. And you can take his two guns and plug them on either side. Right here. And you see you do have multiple points here. You do still have a couple extra pegs there. But yeah, you can store everything on the sled. Hooray. You can, I don't know what you can do with the readout. Just, I don't know. I can sit there somewhere. But uh, you can store everything on the sled, which is nice. I can appreciate it. So... There you go. There you have that. Now, as far as Ironhide goes, of course, he can hold his weapons if you want to yeah. have him armed, which, why wouldn't you? Now you can open up his hands, and it's the typical, you know, masterpiece gun handle here with the tabs on either side, and you just plug it into the slots on his palm. Right there. Close it up, and he holds it most securely. And you can have him holding this gun if you want, even though I don't like this gun, but you know, you can have him hold it. If you want. Even though sometimes the guns are a little bit of a pain to get in his hands there, but there you go. You can have him hold his guns. Or have him just dual wield, you know, this gun if you want. Again, totally up to you, it's your toy, display it however you wish. Me personally, I'm only going to display him with one gun. Right there. That's what I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to do things. That's how I roll. So... There you have that. So, yeah. I really like this guy. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> now, for comparison, here he is with MP10. So, you can see how he stands there. And I think that's a pretty good scale. I think that works. Works for me, anyway. 
Here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. You can see how he scales there. And here he is with Master Bumble, Mas Master Bumblebee. <laughs> Master Bumblebee! Hello, Master Bumblebee! What would you like to bumble today, Master Bumblebee? Masterpiece Bumblebee! There you have that. And here he is with his G1 self. I never got this. It's precious! What the heck is that supposed to be? But it's precious! So they have that with G1 Iron Hide. What is that face? What? what? Anyway. <laughs> And here he is with the Voodoo Robots, not Masterpiece, not Ratchet, with Salus, I believe his name is. I still forget what his name is. I believe it's Salus. And you can see he's actually a little bit taller. Of course, that's when Salus is, like, standing stock straight in that stupid way because that's the way the Ratchets work. But, uh, <laughs> there you have that. So, you know, they actually are pretty evenly, uh, evenly matched there. Um, I mean, quality-wise, this is definitely far superior than the Voodoo Robots version. This figure definitely has a lot of problems. And I mean, if you saw my review of this figure, you know this figure has a lot of problems. So, um, definitely the better choice, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to getting the actual Masterpiece Ratchet, you know. This figure has some good ideas, but, um, just quality-wise, you know, build-wise, this figure definitely needed a lot more work. But there you go, just for a comparison. Right there. So there you go. There you have Masterpiece Iron Eyed. I really, really like this figure. I really dig him. I think he's really cool. Um, like I said, my only real complaint is I just wish these hit panels weren't there. Because it just kind of, you know, kind of messes with the look for me. But... Otherwise, I think it's a very well done figure. Um, Masterpiece Tracks just kind of left me feeling very, you know, very blah because Masterpiece Tracks just did a lot of things that bugged me. But this figure, just this figure, just makes me smile. It makes me happy. He looks cool. Neat transformation. I dig him. I dig him very much. Um, he does come with a lot of accessories. I feel like they were a bit excessive with the accessories for this figure. Um, for my personal display purposes, I would have preferred if they left, like, half of this stuff out of the box and saved me some money. But that's just me. But, you know, hey, options. Nothing wrong with it. But for me, I felt like they were a little excessive with the accessories. But, hey, it is what it is. I can appreciate it nonetheless. So, there you go. So, if you would like a Masterpiece Iron Hide or any other Masterpiece figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Transformers Masterpiece playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it. So, don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. Oh, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP27 Ironhide. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face! Listen, Ironhide, you are, um... You're a dear old friend and definitely one of my bravest soldiers, but, uh... We're gonna have to have a talk about what you did to uh, Bumblebee. But, but Pram! No, no, you, um. You did something bad. But, but Pram! I know, I know, but you really. He, he really didn't deserve that. But Pram! I know, Ironhide, but you just can't go around doing stuff like that. Now you listen to me, you little yellow pipsqueak! You ever touch my comic book collection again? I'll tear you limb from limb! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Yeah, that... that... that was kind of mean. But... Brah.